right, everybody. We are back out. It is Memorial Day weekend. And uh, we just basically finished up fishing in the dark here in one of the gaps. And uh, got a few fish. Sadly, they got really small compared to what we were catching. Uh, we're gonna give it a few more drifts here and then uh, we're gonna head out to some deeper water, start looking around in the areas that we like to troll in and see if we can catch them out there. Um, really just see, I gotta catch up to that school of bigger fish, really the river fish are starting to come in here. That's what's going on and they're just, they're 18, 20 inches. Um, so they're still in here though. You can still get them if you're into that. But uh, a few announcements. Uh, we started a Amazon storefront, so basically any of the stuff that we wear, fish with, hats, sunglasses, gloves, fishing poles, fishing reels, baits, anything really from steelhead, bass, walleye, um, we're all going to be in an Amazon store and you can purchase it right off the store basically. It makes it really convenient um, for you guys. So if you're ever curious about that, you can head over there, there'll be a link in the description of all the videos and uh, hope that guy, I hope that helps you out. Um, figure out what we're using to catch these fish all through the summer and the winter. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I hope we can get some big ones for you guys. Will's hooked up. First fish of the morning. First fish of the morning. Ow, feisty. Oh, I met him. Oh, what does it bring him in? <laughs> it's not. Oh, no. He said it was little. It's not It's not that little. That's a great eater. Right yeah. there. Now we're keeping some fish for a buddy of ours that wanted some. Yeah. Any pliers? Yep. We uh, packed ice in the boat for the first time. No, we're going to keep a couple for our friend today. And it's going to be 85. Yeah, it's going to be hot. <laughs> it's pretty fresh. Yeah. I had just gotten gotten hit, and uh, then Will's like, there's one. Not yeah. bad looking fish. Beautiful. Good, they're a real good eater. Excellent. Get them in the, uh, yeah, get the box. You can see we got all kinds of rods this morning. We're, uh, we're gonna do some trolling at some point here. Once it gets light out, and the bite kind of turns to nothing, really. Let's see if we can find them out, out deep. I got a suspicion there might be some fish out there. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully, go get another one. See if we can get them. Yeah, it feels like a decent fish. Oh, looks like a walleye. Yeah. Little guy, he's tight. These little guy's feisty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Caroline hooked in the net. I think. Yep. I'll just get that. I started throwing a different color. Will's been throwing all dark colors, and I went with this thing that looks more like a, it's purple and white. Obviously, it looks more like a, like a smelt or a emerald. Well, I think we'll deal with that in a minute. Gosh, I Seems like this bite is starting to slow down out here. Yeah, I don't even know if this thing is a keeper, to be honest with you. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Little. Little guy. Jeez. <laughs> oh, That's gonna keep her out. <laughs> All right. Well, I gotta get him in the box and. Yeah, we'll take care of him. Unhook my. Hopefully they start to get a little bigger. Yeah. But. All right, I gotta get them for you. It's all over the place. Will's hooked up here. He said he thinks it's a good fish. Might be another sheephead, we're not sure. It's pulling. Walleye. Walleye. Little guy. Little guy? No. Need the net or no? no. Just barely a keeper. Yeah, they're starting to be, what we're thinking are the river fish coming up out of the mouth of the river and hanging out up here. We should get a tape on that one, yeah. just to be sure. I'm, sh I'm sure he is. I got a little tab. Oh, gotcha. Fifteen and a half. Mm, probably throw that one back. Yep. <laughs> See you later. But yeah, the the fish out of the river are starting to move up in here, and it's a lot of small males. Yep. So they're super aggressive biters, but. Time to go find those bigger ones, a little lot deeper, I feel like. Yeah, time to start hunting around. We're gonna start bottom bouncing and, and trolling. Yep. Another mark right on the bottom out and followed the boat a little bit. That's good. Huh. Here comes the sun. Jeez, there's a good amount of fish down there. So most of what we use this time of year is these crawler harnesses. You just hook it right up in the tip of the nose and then stretch it out and then put it back through and then stretch it out. And then you got these beads and a, and a blade. So pretty simple rig. We can tie all those harnesses. You can pretty yeah. much buy all the gear to do it at 
Cabela's. Yeah, we have, some, we have some favorites, but you can kind of get a sense of it in the water there. What it's gonna do. Now that worm just plays out behind it. Yep. And that blade would spin if it was down in there. But, all right. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Still just going through piles of bait. Fish all over the screen. We're looking. There's a bunch of fish right on the bottom right there. Just hugging it super, super tight. Um, and every once in a while you'll see some fish come up off the bottom. But all of our bites have come from our baits that are pretty much touching the bottom. We think we're hooked up to our first trolling fish. We gotta get this board in. Let me uh, make some. <laughs> kind of caused by surprise. <laughs> I was just kind of settling in for a seat and I look over the, the board pretty much freaking sank. So we gotta get these inlines off, these inline boards. And they just snap off and then uh, Will's free to fight the fish. I'm guessing this is gonna be a Walter out here. You feel him? He's there. That's what I thought when I grabbed the line to get the board off. It looked like it was hooked up. With these uh, trolling fish, you'll see some guys pumping them. We don't really believe in that, honestly. Um, just because of how bony and sharp their teeth are and mouth. Just want to give it nice, steady cranks, really. Steady pressure, yeah. Don't want to be sitting there, be like reeling in a salmon. Just kind of reeling it in. Be interesting to see what this is. We. We're breaking some rules. The fish are generally in pretty shallow, in around 40 feet would be like the deepest most guys would go this time of year. And we came out over 50 looking for bigger fish. I was, I've been wondering for the last couple of weeks if um, those bigger females that are in six, seven, eight poundings, or even the bigger males that most likely spawn first, move out into the deeper water. Um, Right now we're in 52 feet, 53 feet, right on the Canadian line. We're about, oh, I'm in this line. Give us some left. We need to left. Yep. That's a big fish. Watch it be a, watch it be a sheephead. <laughs> After a... Easy, easy. A little to the right. Yeah, okay, yeah. yep. It's going to be a bit of a trick with our filming here. We're not, sh we got lines everywhere, so you got to try to thread it through. You want me to clear one of those? No. I you got it. See up high enough? Yep. Nice job. <laughs> Will's way better at that than I am. I did it for a few years <laughs> as a first mate. Oh, nice walleye. No kidding. Yeah, nice walleye. Yeah, nice fish. Keep him out of that board. All right, you're going to have to get down from there. Go ahead and clip on that uh, GoPro back there. Hold on. Nice Hold on. Let me see what I got here. We're going to try to net him for you. I'm gonna try to net him right there. Too. No kidding. Ready? There we got, oh, 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 we got him. We got him. Yeah. Nice. I think we found him. That's a nice fish right there. <laughs> Holy cow. Got him on the worm harness. Perfect. Sweet. Woo. All right, grab some players right there and let's unhook them. Guys, we've only been trolling for like five minutes. Yeah. We we drove around for 15 minutes, looking and looking and looking at the graph. Might be able to save the worm. <laughs> Don't fish where there's no fish. Hold that guy up, let's see. That's a nice fish Heck right there. Yeah. Nice. I think we'll keep this one and then we'll be done after that. We're done keeping. Yep. All right, get him in the box. Fish number. Three in the morning. Number three in the box, yeah. We, First we one trolling this year. I would we catch four this time. Yep. Alright. Sweet. While I love worms. Yeah, they do. <laughs> nice. Nice. Just feeding out the lead core. That fish came on uh, five and a half colors. So 
it's deep for us a lot of guys we troll super slow too that's the other thing so five and a half colors of lead cord gets us to oh, 50 feet 50 feet yeah we we're pretty close to the bottom we're doing about one zero to one two yeah we'll vary the speed a little bit give it some s turns and pulse it and but that's usually our most common speed is right around that. Once it gets into summertime, into August, we'll pick up a little bit, do one three, one five. But we're usually a little slower than just about everybody out here. Yeah. If you're not familiar with lead core line, it's literally lead uh, inside there, a lead yeah, core. A and then uh, it's got a Dacron sheath on it. And every 10 feet, is a different color and so you'll hear guys say oh i was on a four color i was on a five color or whatever and that's what they're doing is just counting their colors and i think this is an 18 pound uh yeah that we use so <clears throat> and then at the end of this there's 20 feet of i think we're only at 12 pound test yep uh straight mono so a little bit again like most guys are not that light you do want to use a good swivel at the end of it too. You get some really bad line twists on the mono if you don't. Yeah. Um, and then you just clip these inline boards on, and that that gets it away from the boat. The walleye can be real boat shy. Um, and some days they just don't care. <laughs> some days they don't care. You'll put a bottom bouncer down 20 feet behind, or a snap weight down 20 feet behind the boat, and a six pounder will crush yeah. it. You're just like really. <laughs> And then you just feed it out again until that board takes it a distance away from the boat. I wish I would have, I never saw the bite. It was a pretty good bite. Yeah, sank it good, huh? Yeah. I was not expecting action like that. To be sure. We were running over a good amount of fish and it's probably the first baits they've seen all year. <laughs> there is no one around. I would say there's nobody I see, out here. I see one other boat, but he's probably a solid two miles behind us. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we drove by some boats to get out here, that's for sure. Yep. How do you feel about that? Good? Yep. Now we just turn on the clicker, turn the drag down. Most of the times you'll see the board kind of just dart behind the boat yeah, real quick. Yeah, start to fade back. But if you don't, you'll hear that clicker. Yep. And that's your indication. And then over here on this side of the boat, those two boards have crankbaits on them. You've got a bandit on the in, or a bandit on the outside, and a deep dive and husky jerk on the inside. And uh, usually that's a pretty aggressive swipe when they come after those. But catch some fish on just about all of it. So. I just made an adjustment on my inside board over here with the crankbaits. Uh, I had a, it was like a walleye looking color, golden black, uh, deep diving husky jerk on. And so I just changed it over to basically a, uh, a green and brown color. Try to replicate a purge. Got a couple different colors that look like it, but still stuck with the husky jerk. And uh, we'll see if this can get them. We're still marking. Oh, that's a really good mark. Still marking really good out here in 55 feet now. Yeah. We actually turned around and we're heading back towards the city. So we'll see. Hopefully we get some going this way too. All right. So that's going to wrap it up for us out here today. We, uh, we grinded away out here. There's no doubt about that. I think it's kind of just that transitioning period from where you get them jigging, get them trolling, and they kind of in between everything. Um, we really pounded out here. We didn't want to leave uh, these nice marks that we had found basically early this morning and caught that one fish off. It seemed like it was basically just a fluke. I don't, I don't know. We tried different colors, different depths, everything. Uh, different speeds. We tried going up to like 1.8. All the way down to like 1-0. I don't know. It just made a bunch of just one of those days where we needed the water to kind of get a ripple on it or something like that or just 
kind of more consistent fishing um, type weather really. It looks like it's gonna do it this week, looking like mid 80s all week, kind of get a little bit of wind going. Hopefully we'll point these fish in the right direction. I mean, I'm still, we're driving right through the marks. And these, these are all fish right along that bottom. And they just, there's even some bait now. They just, they won't do it. I don't know why. I had to talk to some other guys and see what they found and see what they're seeing. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. So I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, if you enjoy, go ahead and hit the subscribe. There's going to be a bunch more trolling videos just like this uh, as we get farther and farther into the summer fishing here. So uh, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you in the next one.